Good morning. Welcome to a rather wet and drizzly episode of Look Closer. Today I thought we'd explore the wonderful world of fungi. Well here we are in the southwest Australian Cary forests in the middle of winter next to a nice big lake and that means there's going to be heaps and heaps of fruiting fungi around. So I thought we'd go for a nice little walk around this lake and see what fungi we can find. Now I'm going to be the first to admit that fungi ID is not my strong point. So what we're going to do is just have a look, see what we can find, take plenty of good photos and hopefully some people cleverer than myself will be able to tell us what they are. This seems like a pretty good place to start. We've got a nice patch of yellow fungus here. We've got a couple that have already been disturbed so we can get a good look underneath. You'll see that these guys don't have gills but they've got teeth instead. Right, well I have said that I'm not going to do too many IDs, but I'm going to have a stab at this one because it's a pretty distinctive one. I think this is Trametis versicolor, and it looks like uh, turkey tails, and that's what it's called, turkey tails. It has this beautiful shell formation, and this is a pretty impressive colony. It's about five metres long, and this whole log's covered in it, so this whole log is going to be filled with the mycelium, so the actual fungus, and this is just the fruiting bodies on the outside. This is quite a hard one, it's quite leathery, and underneath there's not too much to see but all the actions on the top and you've got these beautiful concentric rings of browns and blacks and creams just a beautiful fungus very lucky to see one this big Right, this is good. We've got another double. We've got this little orange guy along the top and we've got this bright yellow one down the bottom. I'll get in a bit closer so you can see. But I'm, I know what this one is because it's a very, very distinctive jelly, lumpy yellow fungus. This is what's called yellow brain fungus for obvious reasons. Here's another great spot for fungus. At the edge of this ancient old cowry tree, we've got a nice bed of moss, and living in this moss, we've got a couple of little fungus. Now I've just nipped in behind this same cowry tree as we found those moss ones in, and we found another one. This looks to be some broken ones over here we can have a good look at. Little mushroom again, but they've got these bright red gills underneath. I think if we look these will be the same ones. Right, just erupting out of the ground down here is another kind of fungus that we haven't seen yet. This is called a coral fungus. I'm not sure which type it is. but it looks pretty distinctive. They have this upright branching pattern. They don't have a mushroom head, and I'm sure that this is only one sort we're gonna to see today. Probably see another two or three, hopefully.
Well, I hope you've enjoyed this fungi walk around the lake on this drizzly winter's day. I know I have. Well, that's all I've got for you today, so I'm going to go back, get some names for all these fungi. Hopefully you've already seen them, and we'll see you next time.